Hi guys, in this video we are going to talk about Git migration. Taking all your sources, your commit history, your branches and tags and moving from one remote to the other remote. Recently one of big Git service providers had a major disaster, they lost their database and it took them quite some time to restore from backups. During this time people of course could still do local commits, but teams could not collaborate. And we all know that Git is a distributed version control system. That means that each and every developer will have the whole history of the project on their local machines. And it is quite easy to restore that history on the new server, new service. That's exactly what we will do in this video. We will simulate this disaster. You lost your service, you lost your origin, but you need to restore it on the other server. I saw quite a few advices on internet how to do that, but most of them come down to the advice of calling git push with a flag dash dash all and putting your name of the new origin. Spoiler alert, this is not quite a right way to do that. So keep on watching this video to see what is the right way to do that and what are the underlying git mechanics behind the migration. For the sake of this demo, I simulated a reasonably complex Git repository with few branches, some of them local, some of them remote, and let's say somewhere in the middle of the day, Git remote, this remote that is called the region, I just have a single remote here, it's down. So for me, it is the folder on the hard drive, for you it might be a server, doesn't really matter because Git will behave exactly the same way and the steps to migrate will be exactly the same as well. So let's say this location is down, I cannot push anything to this remote, I cannot pull anything from this remote. But I'm a smart Git developer, so I'm not panicking because I know that everything that I need to restore my Git history is in this little folder, and I just need to figure out the way to push the right thing things to the new remote. Speaking of which, I need to add the new remote. And what I will do, I'll say git remote, add, and I will call this remote plan B. And I already created a bare repository on my hard drive to act as the migration target. It is empty right now. And it's in repos plan B. So I'm adding it as the new remote. So now if I type git remote B. It shows me two remotes, plan B and origin. Origin is unaccessible, plan B is empty. So now the next thing that people usually start doing when they want to do migration is git push plan B master. And it will indeed take all the commits that are reachable from master and push them to plan B. Other team members will see master, but they will not see the other branches. And that's the biggest catch, the branches that you have and that you want to migrate. So let's talk a little bit about the branches that you might have in your project. To print branch details, I will use git branch. I'll pass dash a to print all the branches and I'll pass dash vv to be very verbose to print the details of the branches, hit enter. And let's see what we've got here. So we've got a bunch of branches. We've got master and feature. Let's say feature is some feature branch that I'm working with. And we've got a bunch of remote tracking branches here. We've got feature and we've got master, but also we have two more special branches. First special branch is a branch called local. That is my private branch that I'm not yet ready to share with the team and that is not yet pushed, wasn't pushed to the server. And the second branch was a remote tracking branch that was on the server. However, I did not check it out locally because I don't need it. I wasn't working with that feature in that branch. So if you type the command that you might see in internet, which is git push dash dash all and plan B, what will happen? You will share these three branches. All your local branches will go to the new repository and two bad things will happen at the same time. Firstly, you will share your local branch, which you don't want to do. Secondly, you will lose this branch, remote tracking branch. They, it will not be represented in the plan B repository because it is not checked out. So this command will definitely work, but only in the case when all the remote tracking branches are also checked out as your local branches and they are available. So the branches that we need to push, they are living in the refs remotes origin. So let's just write it down. We need to push refs. Refs, by the way, is omitted here in the output, but in reality, there is a folder called refs inside .git folder. Refs, remotes, origin. So we put all the remote tracking branches of the remote called origin. And we push star here. By the way, I forgot to put the name of the repository, which is plan B, our remote. So push everything from remote's origin. Okay, and where are we pushing it? Put the colon here. 
we're pushing it to refs and here we put instead of remote we put heads why because for plan b this will be local branches so we put all those references to heads and we put star here so the names will be the same feature master remote tracking now let's hit enter and see what happens and as you see exactly this branches from origin now ended up in the remote called plan b and if you clone that repository now you will see exactly the right branches and notice that my local branch remained local and my remote tracking branch that i didn't have locally is also pushed to the right place now the final thing to do the final step to complete your migration will be to say git push and pass tags because you might have tags and i do have a single tag in this uh, repository for the demo reason and uh, plan b so push also every tag there and here's my new tag inside of a plan b at this point the remote that is called plan b has the exact copy of the origin as i last saw it as i cloned it last time Right? So the final thing that you want to do at this point is maybe to change the URL. Since origin is not anymore accessible, you don't need it at all, you might want to update the URL of origin to point to the new place and get rid of plan B. So what I will do here is get remote, set URL, origin, and then I pass the URL of plan B here. If I do it this way, I do not need to update any branches they will all remain correct. So git remote minus V should print me the new URL. So now I've got two remotes that are pointing to the same place and I can get rid of plan B. Git remote RM. Thanks for watching and don't let Git service disaster stop your team from writing amazing software.